Hello everyone, good evening. Today I am going to cover a very hot topic which is raised by many Odoo consultant and user about how point of sale will work in Odoo 90. So we could see in my past examples a lot of challenging in terms of the cost of goods sold and inventory valuation things. So now after all the clarification I received from official Odoo in our help and support and even Fabian has published a detailed documentation. Here I am coming up with the right way to use Odoo point of sale and see how it going to impact everything. So let's start with our accounting configuration from scratch where we will see we need to have perpetual with let's say average costing and we will set one inventory valuation account as well as inventory valuation journal and over here i would like to give cost of goods sold as a general expense account once these all are set i will go to chart of accounts and then what i will do i will create a new account that is to manage stock variation once it is set now i will go into my inventory valuation ledger and over here i will set that stock variation account so this is must you have to set when you are going to use odoo pause once it is set I will go to account and then check my you know category so i do have product category in retail i have this much setting i will change it to cost of goods sold and i do have two products one product worth 50 dollar another product worth 60 dollar and it is enabled in point of sale under the retail category everything is set now the next step what i will do i will configure my retail shop so over here we do have a retail shop where everything is by default only i am not making any changes right now in any configuration let it be as it is and then i just save and coming out now the next thing which i would like to do is i will go and purchase some material or goods so product one i will buy 100 at dollar 10 each and then product two i will buy 100 at 12 each as soon as i confirm and make my receipt as well as i finally make my vendor bill Odoo will register my valuation over here so that whenever I'm going and checking my accounting and balance sheet I would be looking at exact product one and product two with debit entry of stock valuation over here nothing is there in my profit and loss because I haven't done any business yet once this is done i will straight away go to my point of sale open the register and then start selling let's say two unit of each and then i will let's say collect the payment and getting things done to validate it that's it let's see how it impacts my entire transaction let me register my cash before closing pause session once it is done i can now see how exactly odoo will register my inventory valuation so here now you can see i have sold you know some of the units under this so you can see cost of goods sold will be registered at dollar 44 totally with my product sales with amount and inventory valuation is also decrease and credit the thing so now i can see in my post everything works perfectly fine so you can see now cash is reconciled and i can see my ledger and over here in profit and loss 
my cost of goods sold worth $44 will be registered over here because I have sold two unit dollar 10 each and two unit dollar 12 each. So 24 plus 20 is $44 which Odoo has registered. This is the one example. So now I can see entire thing works well. Now let me open the register again and then make another transaction where I am keeping my customer and then also preparing the invoice and then collecting the cash and I am validating the transaction. Once the transaction is validated, definitely invoice will be created over here. Fine. And then what I will do, I will go and close my register and then verify the cash amount and close this. Once I am coming back, let me check my orders. So there are two orders and I can see one picking and invoice has been already generated over here. Now let's see how accounting will generate those entries. So over here, my definitely uh, inventory valuation is over here, which is 44 only and profit and loss. I couldn't see any impact yet. So in point of sale, let me see what happens in my orders. So this is fully invoice posted. Everything is done and I have collected payment. But, you know, in invoice, I could not see the transaction reflect over there. Okay. So this is one thing we can see now if i go to accounting and review now at that time of review now i can see the inventory valuation is already decreased so it is asking me to credit against stock variation account but here in point of sale if i go to you know orders i could not find my transaction with proper information so this is where we need to run our accounting review process and then register our, you know, stock variation. So now over here, if I run profit and loss, it will put those sold item under variation account. And then my sales is already booked with two different orders. Okay, product one, product two and over here retail pos the first order which i have sold this is one now let's see if i go to pos setting and then i would like to check closing entry by product i am saving this and then I am opening register again and then let me sell the item with cash and then going back and close my cash register by tallying the cash amount. So now I am back again and over here let's see accounting impact. So definitely I can see stock has been decreased over here with session four worth $22, which is perfect. In profit and loss, I can also see cost of goods sold with $22 debit. And then I can also see the income generated from this particular session. So everything works perfectly fine. There is no variation at all. Now what happens? If somebody is going into order with number five and they want to register an invoice, then I have to give a customer like customer two. And then if by mistake, I want an invoice to be created, how Odoo will work. So Odoo will again, you know, register 
these sales. And then in POS, and if I go to balance sheet again, now what Odoo will do? Odoo will create a entry of this credit again with reversal because I already registered $22 over here in session number four and Odoo is again registering those $22 each item when I make an invoice. And over here in profit and loss, again, it will be creating the debit entry over here. So this is how Odoo will generate the reversal of POS closing entry when I forcefully creating invoice after closing and after everything. So my product sales over here, now you can see Odoo has generated the entry which is reversal from my invoice. So that's how we can see the settlement Odoo has done in invoice over here by you know first retail POS session number four and then it is decreasing the amount like this so this is how we can see like in point of sale and sessions you see session four is still there and order number five is there where i have prepared invoice manually which I can see in reflection in profit and loss in sales booking. So over here, one way it is crediting, one way it is debiting, but original order booking is still there over here. So that's how we can see the entries. Now, if I go to variation account again, because of those double entry, now I have to clear my variation by debiting inventory valuation again and crediting variation entry over here so this is how when we are doing any mistake by forcefully creating invoice now you can see it is clearing out and i can see entire cost of goods sold perfectly with all the orders details okay so this is how <coughs> you guys can configure and start working on odoo pos 19 with this minimal con configuration and everything works fine if you create a cash, if you create a bank entry in your POS and closing the you know, POS session, everything works perfect. Or if your user is making mistake by forcefully creating invoice after closing the session and adding customer, it will perfectly fine and working and booking your sales with you know, perfect reversal entry also. Hope this session will help many people to start using Odoo Pose with this new changes via perpetual accounting method. If you have any question, please feel free to reach me on my YouTube, LinkedIn or email. Thank you guys. Have a good day.